Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what you need for your 24 hour bag in Civil Air Patrol Emergency Services. Before I get into the video, if you're new, uh, welcome to the Homegrown Patriot. I do shooting videos, airsoft videos, outdoor videos, and outdoor gear reviews. So if that sounds like you, make sure to check out my channel down below. So with that being said, let's get into it. So um, first thing you're gonna to wanna to get is uh, a, a good backpack. Um, it does not have to be a military bag. But um, I do, I like military bags because of the molly and I can attach stuff that I want. But um, you can also use like a hiking backpack or anything, just as long as it supports your weight and that um, you're comfortable with walking around in the outdoors for long periods of time. So, um, also uh, a good thing to make sure it has is chest straps and waist straps. I think most outdoor backpacks have that. So um, yeah, I'll leave the link to this backpack down below. I believe it is like a Vism 24 hour bag. Something like that. Anyway, let's get into what you need in your actual So, um, and these are all the things I'm gonna be showing you are requirements, unless I say otherwise. So, first thing you'll need is a reflective safety vest. So, um, like that. Uh, another thing you're gonna need is uh, leaf bags. Now, leaf bags are very useful for multiple reasons. You can use them to filter water, um, if you know how to um, do that. You can use them to make like an impromptu shelter, a uh, poncho. You can use them for all kinds of things. So this is um, definitely a good thing and I, um, yeah. You also need leather work gloves. Mine are in a bag because they're kind of dirty for use, but um, just some leather work gloves. Uh, the next thing you will need is some glow sticks. So you have to have some of these, not just like cheap glow sticks. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if those are working or not, uh, but um, I think I got these at Walmart. So just like uh, outdoor glow sticks. Next thing that you're gonna need is duct tape. You do not have to have a colossal duct tape like this. Uh, my dad had this at work and he gave it to me. So it was free, saved me money. Um, and that's one thing you don't wanna um, go crazy spending your money or your parents' money. You just wanna get what you need at uh, a good price so don't waste money but also don't get like horrible stuff you know so in between there anyway um gonna have duct tape next up is a shelter so you want to have some kind of shelter so when you're out um it's easier than just building your own shelter so you gotta have one of these this was like two dollars i think it's just like a um one time use or maybe it's reusable uh, i think it's reusable anyway just like a reflective tent like this or some other emergency shelter. Doesn't take up too much room. Uh, next, you need um, toilets or towelettes, whatever, um, like this, like uh, wet wipes. And then an extra pair of socks. You need an extra pair of socks um, if like your boots get wet or something. So extra pair of socks, gotta have that. Um, you also need sunscreen. You will need uh, 24 hours worth of food. So you can just get like a food bar like this. Um, I could put another one in there. That'd probably be a good idea, but I think this would last you a day. So um, this is this should be good. I think it was like down at Walmart or whatever. Um, you'll need a uh, 50 foot nylon paracord. You will need a uh, bug spray. Now, there's two kinds of bug spray. You can get a huge one or a small one. I say, um, if you already have this flying around, go ahead and use it. But if you are buying bug spray, uh, I recommend getting some smaller bug spray like this, as it takes up uh, less room. But um, yeah. Uh, the next thing is a rain poncho. You need to have a um, rain poncho. Then you will also need uh, wet wipes. You will need uh, you will need a headlamp. And uh, one thing about the headlamp or light, I think it has to have a uh, red or blue lens, so it has to have a red light. Um, see, this has the white bright light, dim light, and red light. The reason the red light is important is for at nighttime, the um, red light uh, cuts down uh, on so like. To, um, <clears throat> just to explain this, uh, if you shine somebody in the eye with a really bright light at night, um, it can damage your ability to see well at night. I think it takes like 45 minutes for your eyes to adjust all the way back, so that's why it's important to have a uh, red light on 
your uh, light. So that is a requirement. It has to have a red or blue light. I think red's easier to find, but um, uh, the obvious thing, first aid kit, gotta have one of these. You will also need fire starting stuff. Now, you do not have to have all of this stuff. This is like from my bug out bag and um, I just have all this stuff. I think you just need a box of waterproof matches or something like that. But um, I have lighters, I have um, tons of matches, or matches, and um, fire starting stuff. And I have some cotton balls for kindering, kindering, kindling. Um, so uh, yeah, all you need probably is like a box of waterproof strike anywhere matches. That would be the thing to get. But um, if you have like lighters or whatever, um, yeah. So then um, you will also need toilet paper. Um, I'm not sure, I think you can just use like a regular rule of tape toilet paper. I got the biodegradable toilet paper, so. And some of the smaller items that you will need, you have to have hand sanitizer. You will need flagging tape. You will need a compass. You will need extra batteries for your flashlight. You will need a signaling mirror. You will need eye protection. This is really important for like going through brush so that you don't scratch your eyes. You will need a uh, whistle. And you will need some chapstick. So some other things that um, I bring that I think are important are uh, here. I, I bring uh, a water purifier. I do not believe it's on the list for the 24 hour pack, or uh, at least it's not for me, but um, I definitely think it's important to bring some kind of water filtration system, whether it be a life straw or it be um, iodine pills, whatever you need to uh, bring. Um, I definitely recommend bringing some kind of water to your fire. Something else that I bring with me is this little uh, survival light. It is a, uh, let's see, what's it? It is a flashlight as well as a lantern and it is um, solar powered so you can uh, do that or it also can be charged by um, a phone charger so that's something else that I bring with me um, and then some things you cannot bring cannot bring hatchets hatchets are not allowed and um, you cannot bring uh, saws so you are allowed to bring knives like uh, this knife Right here, this is the, uh, the knife that I carry with me pretty much everywhere. But I think the rule with knives is like, the, the blade can't exceed six inches and the knife itself can't exceed 12 inches. Um, I'm pretty sure of that. Also, some, uh, some personal items you'll wanna have on you. You'll wanna have your um, complete cap uniform, um, your appropriate cap identification, like um, any forms, your cap ID, uh, appropriate clothing for the climate or weather. So if it's raining, rain poncho uh, stuff, that was on the list anyway, but like rain jacket, whatever. If it's cold, you know, jacket, anything like that. Um, and you will, uh, I think that's pretty much it for your person. Anything else you think you need, of course you wanna bring some water. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, you can put those down below and I'll try and get to that. So um, thank you for watching again and I'll see you next time.